one of the few remaining spots in my home that I have not featured on this program is my kitchen. As you see, it's small, but I tried to make the best of the space that I had available to me by renovating it in a way that preserved its original architectural integrity. For many years, I rarely used this room, but of course I've become very familiar with it over the last three months. One of my favorite areas is this little breakfast nook. As I said in my first episode of this series, I put French doors and windows throughout the property to let in light and because I liked the architectural design. And in this room, I use it most often because it allows me to have the feel of dining al fresco while actually being indoors. The very first project that I did during the last three months, once the flaws of this kitchen were exposed, was to add cabinets above my stove. I always wanted cabinets above my stove, but I did not know how to create coved ceilings. But as you see, I took a look at YouTube, found out how to do them, and I installed uh, coved ceilings in my kitchen. Um, along with some cabinets from a big box store which I customized to look like the original cabinets in the kitchen itself. And as you see, I added the detail, I, I um, customized with wood veneer over the sides and created the doors, built the doors. I also installed the microwave and the electricity myself in an extremely adventurous way because I did not want an electrician coming in my house during the pandemic. I also installed a customized drawers so it looks vintage on the outside and modern on the inside. And I even installed pull-out cabinetry so that I can access my pots and pans easier using scrap pieces, even hardware and wood from my garage. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I'm a little distracted by those shoes. Take a moment to take those in before I close the bottom drawer. No need to spend a lot of money doing this. You can just go get these glides from a local home improvement store, add it to some three quarter inch plywood, and voila, you have instant storage for under $10. You can't beat it. Now the next project that I will venture on for this kitchen is to maximize a little more storage by creating a spice rack. 